Now we're going to pass back to Paul Green to see an exciting new development in Part Modeler called 2D to 3D. I'm now going to take you through a new feature that we have in Part Modeler for 2014 R2 and that's the facility to turn a 2D drawing into a 3D model. I'm going to start by opening up our DXF file. So I'm going to change to DXF import. I shall browse the file. And I'm going to bring in a simple mill part. Okay, we have our two viewports, so I'm going to switch views, and there we go. This is the part that we're going to basically, for all intents and purposes, digitize around to then create the solid. And it will create it in this viewport here. So I'm going to start by changing the interface to the 2D to 3D. So we go from the modeling system into the 2D to 3D. And I'm going to start by creating the views that I'm going to work with. So I'm going to go to the new 2D, 3D view. And we have obviously the type of projection that the drawing is drawn in, so it's important you get your first and your third projections correct. And we obviously pick the views that we have in our drawing. So I'm going to start by picking what will be my front view. So I select the icon and I draw a window around the geometries that will be our profile. We obviously here have the part origin. I'm going to go for a manual origin and I'm just going to drop it in this corner here. Okay, so I'm now going to go and change the view to the top view. So I select my top view. Once again, draw a window around the view. I'm happy with the origin being in this corner and I'm now going to change to my right view. Once again, window around the part, happy with the origin once I'm happy with the viewports that I've created, I can click the Create button. Now what we actually have to do is digitize around the part to actually give the profile for Part Modeler to construct the solid. So we go to this Trace mode. <clears throat> we have options here to manually trace, step by step, or automatic. So if the part's a little bit more complicated, you can use the manual tracing if it's a bit difficult to obviously see what area we're going to be working we can make it just that little bit bigger and I'm going to manually trace so I select by start by selecting an element and now I work my way around the contour so part modeler is going to give me options of which way I want to go so if there is no option you just get the one option the one direction to go in so if I select that I'm happy with that I'm happy with that direction that we're going the direction indicated by the red dotted line I'm okay with that. However, I don't want to go along here. I want to trace around the part. So I'm going to change to another element. So we're going around the radius now. This is fine. So I accept that. Accept that. I'm happy to continue. Happy to continue around there. We keep going until we reach an area where part model doesn't go and we toggle again. And then we continue around. Once we get back to the where we started, we click it. Part modeler detects this and it says, do you want to cho close the chain? So we say yes. So that's digitized this profile. I'm now going to go to auto loop, which you might better use for most things, and pick my other profiles. When I'm happy with the profiles that I've selected, I can now use auto feature to construct the model for me. And we'll see that appear in this viewport here. So we now have a solid model. It's not complete because we have more features to go in. So I'm now going to add those features. So I'm, once again we're going to go back to the trace mode and I'm going to pick my holes that I want to put through the base of the part. And I'm now going to use obviously the extrude features. So I'm going to go for an extrude cut and I'm going to cut through the job. And we say OK. Let's now put those features in there for me. Once again we have this hole through the part, so I need the hole to come in here. We still have trace active, so I'm going to select this hole. Once again go for the extrude cut and say OK, because we're going through the job. And there we go, that's now created that solid model. That solid model is there for us to work with 
and just the same as if we'd created it within part modeler itself. So what I can now do is I can come and I could put a fillet of two millimeters. I'm going to propagate it around this contour. So we're happy with that. I can say apply. Yes, that's what I'm after. Say OK. But the beauty of this feature is that the drawing and the model are fully associative. So if I come back and now look at my drawing, we can see that it's actually updated it to include the fillet.